everyone, welcome to the Not So Legal Show. It's time to celebrate the Giants. Me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the Not So Legal Show. I've got to talk about the San Francisco Giants, but before I get into that, this video is for my friend Monica Wilburn. I know she will definitely laugh at this video because she knows I don't really follow sports and she will notice the outfit that I'm wearing, but I really want everyone to send her some good prayers. She's gonna be fine, but I wanna dedicate this video to her because she will think this is funny. So, of course, my husband is a San Francisco Giants fan. As most of you know, I'm a Dallas Cowboy and Texas Rangers fan. However, I do think it's okay to just support the team of your spouse. So that is what I did. Now, he went to two of the games and clearly decided to buy me some things. I've got my hat, I have my shirt. So I thought, why not celebrate the Giants win on the Not So Legal Show? Of course, my next step was then to Google lawsuit in San Francisco Giants because of course that's the natural thing to do in this situation. I gotta tell you some things that I found. One of the things that I found that I thought was pretty funny is that Tim Lincecum, who is one of the pitchers for the Giants, yes, I do know their names, even though sometimes I call, is it Tad Hamilton? Wait, Chad Hamilton of the Rangers. I call him Tad Hamilton. My sister will think that one's pretty funny. But I do know a lot of the players' names because my husband is often found watching the Giants games. Anyway, his ex-landlord sued him for damage he caused in the apartment. Now, in situations like this, I always kind of wonder, I mean, how bad was the damage? Or was it just because he thought this guy had a lot of money because he was a baseball player? I'm gonna have to look into that one. Now, the other thing I found is there was a woman who attended one of the World Series games, and in one of the games, Pablo Sandoval hit three home runs, and one of the balls this woman caught However, they had to take the ball back. She was charged with trespassing because somehow, I guess when she caught the ball, she was in the center field and she claimed she had seats there, but I guess she didn't. She lost the ball. She was arrested for trespassing. But I think in this situation, there won't be formal charges filed because it really would be a waste of time. I mean, come on, it's a World Series. She was just being cheerful and a fan that wanted to win a baseball. Last but not least, I've got to talk about some of the rioting that happened after the Giants won, which in those situations, it's always kind of a sad thing because I think if a team is winning and you want to celebrate, just go celebrate. You don't need to break the law. I was kind of a little disappointed in that kind of situation because I do think that it should be somehow possible to cheer on your team without starting a fire in the middle of the street. I mean, it's just so unnecessary. There you have it. You've got some Giants news. I think we should all celebrate. I think they won it fair and square. Even when the Detroit coach was talking about the win, even he said, there's really no excuse. I mean, they won fair and square. Celebrate tonight, celebrate the next day, and let's all be happy that the Giants won. In keeping up with some San Francisco cheer, this week in the best hip hop lyric, I'm gonna go with a Bay Area website I found called Fizzler. I've got the link below. This website only focuses on Bay Area hip hop artists. Now some big Bay Area hip hop artists, you've got Tupac Shakur, you've got Too Short, but something you have to check out on this site is this video by a guy called Insane. And he did sort of this parody rap to Gangnam Style, but it's all about the Giants. It's a great video, you have to see it. That's it for now, always remember to honor your power. Congratulations to the Giants and stay tuned for the next video posting. Giants, go Giants. That's my giant stance.